Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home and today I brought you one of the most genius idea for brunch menu. Have you thought about putting kimchi in your hash? Oh yeah, that's what we are about to do. Let's get started. First, we need to prepare our potato. You will need one large or two medium size of rustic potato. Boil and wash it well and poke it with your fork. Poke it with your fork. Fork, right? Not fork, not poke it. <laughs> and then place on a microwave safe dish and microwave for five to six minutes. Halfway through the cooking process, flip them over. Carefully take out the potatoes from the microwave, cut them into half and peel. Honestly, you don't have to peel, but I just decided to peel. But if you wanna make this dish even more rustic, you can leave the skin, you know what I mean? Now cut the potatoes into bite sizes and set aside. Now I'm going to cut a large leg. Go ahead and cut in a half in lengthwise and wash it through each layers. And thank you Jacob and Hanya for cleaning it up. And cut them into lengthwise one more time and then chop it. Also chop four cloves of garlic. Bring one and half cup of well fermented kimchi and chop them up with a scissor. So this is what we Korean do. When we cut in kimchi, like a small pieces like that, instead of doing in the cutting board, because the cutting board will smell like kimchi and will look like kimchi color. So instead of that, just do it in a glass bowl and just chop it with your scissor. Now I'm going to heat up my large skillet over medium heat. Today I'm using cast iron pan, but you can use any, any other pan, non-stick, uh, stainless steel, whatever large skillet that you have. Add three tablespoons of oil, add chopped leek and garlic. And season them with generous amount of salt and pepper, about quarter to half teaspoon. Stir and cook them until they are nice and soft, about three to four minutes. Then go ahead and add 8 ounces of ground beef. Honestly, you can use any kind of ground meat for this recipe, even Italian style sausage, breakfast sausage, ground chicken, or even beyond the meat. That's a great option. If you are using like a breakfast or Italian sausage, you can skip the salt because they are already seasoned. But if you are using ground beef like me, go ahead and season with generous amount, pinch of salt and pepper as well. And cook with the leek and garlic all together about five to six minutes. Or the beef, leek and garlic, and it's soft and cooked and golden brown edges. This is a time to add the chopped kimchi. One to two tablespoons of gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. So adjust the gochugaru amount depending on how spicy and how red your kimchi is. So my kimchi, it, it's actually store bought. I didn't make the kimchi. They are quite pale looking. So I added two tablespoons of gochugaru for the color because my gochugaru is really not that spicy. Last, add one tablespoon of soy sauce. This is time, push all this kimchi beef mixture around the edge of the skillet. Then go ahead and add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Let the butter melt all the way, then add the potato into the melted butter. Toast the potato with the melted butter first, so the potato will absorb the butter and the coat it with the butter. Then mix everything together. Spread evenly on the bottom of the pan and then let it sit for one minute to crisp it up and golden brown edges on the bottom. Flip them over. It's not a pancake. You don't have to flip them over all together in one time. You can just section it out a little bit, okay? It's not a challenge. Mm. 
Now turn down the heat to low and make four wells. And if you need to, I did a little bit of oil in the well to kind of, you know, make sure the egg wouldn't stick on the bottom. And then crack egg carefully into the wells. Garnish with some chopped chive or green onion, and it's done. Where's my mimosa, guys? Where's my mimosa? Brunch time. Brunch time. Brunch time. Brunch time. You always have to make the sound, huh? You always do that. Okay, okay. wait, wait. It's what? spicy. No, it's a kimchi, it's dude. Baking butter potato time. Baking butter potato. Baking butter potato. So there was bacon in here. No, 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 no it's no, a no. beef. Kimchi butter potato. Oh, look at the crispy potato bottom. Looks fantastic. Fantastic. No, not often. Not really Chicken that often. Mm. Mm. It kind of tastes like. Mm. Uh, tak... Takalbi? No. Takori tang potatoes. Mm? No? Mm. A little bit, a little bit. But there's a beef, no chicken. Mm. I still taste it. Takori tang is not a potato. This is really amazing with mimosa. Mimosa, please. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That was so good. If you really like my kimchi hash recipe, please give it this you video. You said kimchi beef hash. Kimchi beef hash. Don't yell at your aunt. <laughs> Watch your tongue, boy. <laughs> If you liked my kimchi beef hash, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeong Longgast. I'm Jacob Longgast. I'm Kim. And this is Asian at Home. We will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye. Can you shovel that into your mouth?